What's up guys, my name's Brandon and after nearly a month without a beta update, Apple returns today with the release of iOS 15.3 beta 2. So this of course was pushed out to registered developers and it should be out for public beta testers very soon. Now in addition to this iOS release, we also got iPadOS 15.3 beta 2, tvOS 15.3 beta 2, HomePod OS 15.3 beta 2, and watchOS 8.4 beta 2. We did also get a public iOS release today with iOS and iPadOS 15.2.1. And I did also want to mention that we did get macOS Monterey 12.2 beta 2 yesterday. So a ton of software releases as expected after the long holiday season. But in this video, we're talking all about the latest iOS and iPadOS betas and what's new in the software, along with when to expect the final release. All right, so starting off with the size of this update, you can see here here. This beta came in at 648.7 megabytes on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. Most people's were around this size, so not very large for a second beta. If we go and check out the build number for this second beta, settings general about 15.3. We can see the new build number here is 19D5040E. And then if we go down to the modem firmware, you can see it is now 1.41.06. All right, so now what's new here with iOS 15.3? beta 2. And once again, if we check out the release notes on Apple's website and the developer portal, you will see that they are empty yet again. So pretty strange that Apple is not including anything whatsoever in these release notes. So that tells me that this is going to be a pretty minor update in general. Of course, we did cover a lot of the big changes in the first beta, but you know, I'm not seeing anything major here and the second beta. Really the only thing I noticed was inside of podcasts. I did get a new splash screen. I took a screenshot of it right here. I don't know if this is new or not, but I did just get it for the first time after updating to beta two. It just says what's new in Apple podcasts and it shows the shared with you feature and it says find podcasts shared by your friends and messages on listen now. So if your friends send you a podcast and messages, it will of course show up in the podcast application. So again, don't think that's new, but it is a new splash screen that I just received for the first time here on the second beta. And of course, one of the changes in iOS 15.3 is when you're all caught up on your episodes, when you go to your library right here and you have nothing right here, you've caught up with all of your episodes, you will see this change right here where it shows no latest episodes. And that's just a minor verbiage change right there. So I did notice that shortcuts are improved here in beta two. This is something that may vary depending on the person. But when I went in to edit a shortcut on beta one, it would be very, very laggy. It would stutter a ton. And when I would X out of something, it would not work the first time. I'd always have to tap that X a second time. That appears to be fixed here with the second beta. And I don't have any stutter anymore in the edit screen right here in shortcuts. And then also the edit reminder action is working properly in 15.3. This is very specific, but it was not working in 15.2 for some users. It would just not reschedule reminders properly, but now it does. The HomeKit bug, I would assume, has also been fixed here with the second beta of iOS 15.3 that was patched in iOS 15.2.1, and I would expect that to carry over here to 15.3 beta 2, especially since they were released on the same day. We also have a fix for pinch to zoom, so a lot of users on 15.3 beta 1 it would not register, Safari would not register their pinching to zoom. Like what I'm doing right here, it would not zoom in like half or three quarters of the time. So for me, that's never been an issue. I never had any issue with zooming in when I'm pinching, but for some users, especially those that still have a home button, like the iPhone 7 and iPhone 8, they did report issues with pinching to zoom, but they have reported that it has been fixed here with the second beta. Now, I know a lot of people also had issues with Apple Music on iOS 15.2, but I do believe that 15.3, at least the first beta, fixed the majority of those issues. But I actually just had my first encounter with an issue on 15.3, and it's here in beta 2, and my music would just randomly stop playing. So there was nothing, had nothing to do with the connection, had nothing to do with the song, had nothing to do with anything. It just randomly stopped playing, and it would show that it was still playing, just the audio would cut out and I didn't have any AirPods on or anything like that. It was just playing out of the iPhone and it just stopped randomly. So I had to switch songs and then switch back for it to fix itself, but it was pretty strange. And that was my first time having an issue with Apple Music here 
on 15.3. So that could have just been an anomaly, but keep an eye out for it. That might be happening to you as well in the second beta. And then I know some people are still having issues with the storage bugs. If you go into iPhone storage right here, it would miscalculate your storage. And then some people would still get the pop-up where it says your storage is almost full, even though you're not even close to full. I just published my iOS 15.2.1 video. And some people said that that is still remaining in that version. So hopefully it's fixed in 15.3 beta 2, but I have not had it, so I cannot report on that. So if you have, let me know in a comment down below if this version fixes it. And I was looking back at my community poll here on the channel because a lot of you guys give your input many days after I post it and after I talk about it here on the channel. So I like to go back and see what you guys have to say. But some people are saying they have issues with Wi Fi randomly disconnecting. And in my experience, that almost always has to do with your router and your internet versus the software. So just keep that in mind. Some people are still having the issues with the formatting being incorrect on the splash screen for AirPods, where it shows like the code instead of the actual text that is still there. Unfortunately, it's still here in 15.3 as well but still the majority of people are still saying that they have absolutely no issues with 15.3 beta 1 and again like i said in my follow-up videos beta 1 of 15.3 is probably the best first beta i've ever seen of any software ever which is saying a lot because I've covered, of course, all of them here on the channel. So that's why there's not too much to talk about in this video either, because there was really nothing wrong with the first beta. So hopefully beta three, you know, has some new features, some new changes, because this is a pretty boring update. And hopefully we do get some release notes from Apple as well. But let's go and talk about the performance and the battery life, because the performance feels just as good as it did in beta one here on beta two. And if I go into my Geekbench scores right here, you can see I did score a 1743 on the single core and a 4892 on the multi core. So pretty strong scores there. And if we compare that to the first beta, let me find that here. So this was iOS 15.3 beta one. This is iOS 15.3 beta two. So you can see the single core went up one point and then the multi core went up quite a bit. So from 4764 to 4892. So a nice improvement there on the Geekbench scores. And then as far as battery life goes, battery life feels about the same so far as it did on the first beta. But of course, it is way too early to tell how it is in the long term. So I will let you guys know in my follow up video as always that I post on Saturday afternoon, I will let you guys know if the battery life is any better or worse than the first beta. But so far, it's about on par with iOS 15.2, which is saying a lot. Again, 15.3 is just really impressive overall as a software, at least in the beta. I hope it carries over to the final release as well. All right, so now what's next for Apple? So today is January 12th, it's a Wednesday, and I would expect to see iOS 15.3 beta 3 next week. So we could see it really anytime next week, but my guess would be sometime from the 17th through the 19th. So we should see a third beta, and we probably will have maybe one or two more betas after that with a final public release of iOS 15.3 coming sometime in early February. I would expect a 15.3 release within the first two weeks of February. And then after that gets released, we will see iOS 15.4 betas begin. And that's where we should see new emoji, new wallpapers, and a lot of the new features that we've been waiting on for quite a while. We could even see the first beta of universal control in the Mac OS beta that comes out in February. But I'm not going to get my hopes up. I'll see that. I'll believe that I should say when I see it, because that's really been pretty much a pipe dream at this point. I don't even know if it's coming at all anymore. But anyways, guys, that is what to expect next from Apple. And that was my video on iOS 15.3 beta two. I wish it was more entertaining for you guys. I wish I had more to talk about. But unfortunately, there's just not much going on here with the second beta. But still, if you guys enjoyed this video, or if you just enjoy the sound of my voice, I would appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up. And of course, make sure to subscribe for a hopefully more exciting iOS 15.3 beta three video, hopefully coming next week. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.